change the world. Some people think you should just complain about it. I won't change the world. They'll just make it bad. Some people think you have have lots of money, money, make it rain everywhere you go. <laughs> Holla for a dollar. Some people think you have to be really loud and yell a lot. It's like with a bullhorn shouting. Hey you, yeah you, do it my way right now. You heard? Other people choose to just make fun of everything. That's dumb. That's dumb. Everyone's dumb. It's easy to make fun of stuff, but it's cooler to make stuff. Some people think changing the world can only be done by the smartest person in the world. Just put them in a room, let them figure it out. The solution of world hunger: food. Wow, that was like so amazing. Some people see the bad in the world and they just decide to ignore it. But that won't help anything. Some people think you have to be really famous and super cool. In fact, lots of people think you have to be really powerful to make a difference, like being mayor or senator or president. But the truth is, a title doesn't make you more important. The world is changed by you. It's one person filled with love. And they just have to live it out, so they do something awesome. Then that person is filled with love, and they do something awesome. It just goes on and on and on and on. And the next thing you know, everything's awesome. Some people think it's impossible to change the world. It's impossible to change the world. Well, you can see why they could think that. Living in the world with kids who are hungry, people who are homeless, families who aren't happy. I'm just trying to figure it out like everybody else, man. But I do know this though. Next time you feel overwhelmed or totally alone, remember this: things don't have to be the way they are. The world is changed by ordinary people, little people living out big love. And that's what gives the world a reason to dance. As we get started with our quest project, let's just talk about what service learning is. It's meaningful community service that promotes civics responsibility and strengthens communities. Reminders about your quest project. FCPS requires that you complete 15 hours of service learning as part of your civics and economics curriculum. 10 of those hours will be outside of school, but five of those hours come from in school. Part of those come from your research paper, which was worth 20 points that you turned into civics. Another portion of that comes from your data-driven decisions that you will turn into math. The new due date for that is October 17th. And the last portion of your hours will come from your reflection paper, which you will complete after your outside hours and will be due in March. If you do not turn in any of these three, so the research paper, data-driven decisions, or the reflection paper, you will not receive credit for the full 15 hours. Today what you're going to be doing in your group is working on a tabletop blog. So each of you should have a handout. In the center box, you are going to write down the solutions or the plans that you came up with for your service hours. These are the things that you discovered through your research and the solutions that you wrote down on the second part of your researching the on your research paper. So here's an example. If I was doing child and youth support and I was researching children and disasters, my one idea would be to supply backpacks and supplies for schools that have, be, have been affected by the hurricane. So I would write that in the center box. Then what you're going to do is silently you're going to move around the classroom, you're going to read other people's ideas or solutions, and you're going to give them comments or feedback and also write down any questions that you have. We're using this as a means for you to get feedback, so please remember to be respectful and write meaningful comments. So again, here's my example. So as you as a student circled around, you could write some feedback, such as how many backpacks will you need? What kind of supplies are you looking for? What hurricane are you going to try to help? Where will you collect the items? So you can write your own comments, and then you can also comment on the comments of other people. So for example, someone could write, do, what kind of supplies do they need? Do they think, need things like pencils or markers or books or computer? And then someone could also write ideas about where you could collect the items. 